Hello everyone, welcome to this SPSS assessment video on how to complete simple linear regression analyses. Uh, so these tests are used if we want to assess whether one, predict, uh, one uh, continuous variable can predict variation in another continuous variable. So let's pretend that we're interested in how often students are late to lectures per year and we're thinking that maybe we can predict how often this occurs on the basis of how far they live from campus. And so we might imagine that those who live further away from campus would be late more often because there's a greater chance that something's gonna go wrong along the way. So to do this, we can, or to test this, we can use a simple linear regression. So let's go to SPSS, then go to variable view, and then we can enter the names of the two variables into these top two cells. And we can just use this measures column to indicate that both of these are scale variables. And uh, once we've done that, we can go to data view and we can see that distance and times late have appeared at the top of these two columns. And so we can just simply copy and paste the data from this table into SPSS. Uh, so once we've done that, we're ready to run the analysis. We can go to Analyze, then Regression, then Linear. Um, and so we're assuming that times late is the dependent variable and that distance is the independent variable. So once we've transferred those over, we can just go to OK. And you get quite a lot of output when you run this test. So the main things we're going to be looking at, um, so we need this R square value. We need the degrees of freedom, this F value, the significance value. And we also need this um, uh, beta value, um, which is here, um, this T value and this significance value as well. So this is how we might report these results. So we're gonna, we're gonna start by explaining why we did the test, because we're interested in whether uh, distance from campus could predict um, whether someone arrives late to lectures. And so we need to uh, present two sentences after that. So we can say that um, the regression suggested that distance from campus explained um, 93 percent of the variance. So where's the number coming from? Well it's coming from this R square value. So uh, in accordance with AP8 guidelines we typically round up numbers to two decimal places. Hence 0.931 has become 0.93 which is another way of saying that 93 percent of the variance has been explained. So that's where these numbers are coming from, that's where this 93 is coming from, and that's where this 0.93 is coming from. And so for the other numbers, we need to look at this table below. So we've, we're looking at these degrees of freedom in the top two rows of this table. So we've got a 1 and an 8. And as you can see, we've got a 1 and an 8 here as well. And we've got the F value, which is this number here, which again has been rounded to two decimal places. And we've got this P value as well. So it's conventional that when you see a significant a significance value that's 0 0.000, you round that up to 0 0.001, which is what we've done here. And so to, for this last sentence, um, we need to refer to these stats within this bottom table. So we can say that distance from campus significantly predicted arriving later lectures. And we've got a we've got a beta value, so that's this one here. So again, it's been rounded to two decimal places. We've got a t-value, again rounded, in this case it's been rounded up from 10.358 to 10.36. And again, we've got the significance value, which has been rounded from 0.000 to 0.001. Okay, so that's that's really all there is to it. Um, I hope it made sense. Um, if there's anything you're unsure about, Feel free to comment or get in touch. And thanks for watching.